What's up you guys, welcome back to the channel. For those of you who are new, my name is Evan and I make videos about hot stocks, dividends, and options. So if that interests you guys, make sure you subscribe and hit the notification bell so you never miss an upload. In today's video, we're gonna go over why NEO went up 11.5% just in September. And we're also gonna cover what could potentially happen for NEO going forward. And also why some analysts think that NEO is really going to skyrocket in the near future. But looking at the chart for today, NEO is up 1.1%, so they're not really up or down much today. And even more so on the one week chart, they're up 0.13% in the past week. And so they've been trading pretty flat. The only major dip this week was when President Trump tweeted out that there wasn't really an agreement on a new stimulus. And then on October 8th, there was a spike up to 2227. But besides that little dip and that little spike, NEO has traded pretty much flat all week. So now I want to go over exactly why NEO gained 11.5% just in September. So actually for most of September, NEO was tracking along pretty closely with the broader market and they weren't really making big moves up or down. But then come towards the end of September and that's when things started to change a little bit and NEO got a boost because a German bank, specifically an analyst named Edison Yu, put out a new price target for NEO. And if I remember correctly, he raised his price target up to $24 per share. And so then around the end of September, the last week or so, we saw NEO go up quite a bit. And it seems as though that was the main reason why NEO went up so much in September, but more specifically towards the end of the month. So yeah, like I mentioned here, it's talking about the analysts who rated NEO and improved their price targets. So the first one took place on September 3rd, and a guy named Bin Wang improved his one year price target from $17.50 up to $25. And the reason why he increased his price target so much was because NEO was showing that they could really put out a lot of vehicles and deliver enough units. They were actually delivering almost as much as their capacity could hold. And so he saw this as a very bullish sign and increased his price target by $7.50. And at the time, that was the new high among major analysts, and he had the new record for the highest price prediction. But then fast forward a few days, and from the German bank, Edison Yu on September 8th set a buy rating and improved his price target up to $24 per share. And then at the very end of September, on September 29th, Edison Yu also said that NEO was potentially going to become the next iconic automotive brand. And so far in October, NEO is up about 2% as well. So they're still riding on this upwards trend that they had in September. And I think it's likely going to continue pretty steadily through the end of the year because now we're in fourth quarter. And so NEO should be delivering more vehicles each month. And NEO should still have plenty of room to grow, especially in the coming years. Because even though they're young right now, they're still setting new record deliveries month after month. And if they can maintain a leadership position in the EV market, they should really take off in the future and they should be one of the top dogs and top contenders in the EV market. Like if you look just at September's deliveries, they set a new record high of 4,708 vehicles, where they had also set a record in August and also back in June. The only month where they didn't set a record was in July, but they were just slightly below June's numbers. And NEO also has a market cap of around 26.6 billion. And this is roughly valued at 12 times their year's expected sales. But you can kind of take this with a grain of salt because a lot of share prices for different companies don't exactly reflect on their market cap and earnings per share and what the stock should actually be worth. A lot of times stocks just keep going up because people keep investing in them. So looking at the numbers, they might be slightly overvalued right now, but according to analysts and what people think NEO is worth, a lot of people would say that they're slightly undervalued right now and that they should be worth about $25. So personally, I don't know what NEO is worth right now, but I think by the end of the year, they could hit that $40 mark, especially if they set new record deliveries each month through the end of the year. But now I want to go over why some people think that NEO is going to explode in the near future. So according to Will Mead, who is a former portfolio manager of a $1.4 billion hedge fund, he said that NEO is just waiting for a new leap forward. 
And NEO shares have shown a lot of strong growth in the past few weeks and also the past few months. And this is giving a lot of investors confidence going forward and they can now somewhat believe in NEO more than they could back when NEO was trading for under $10. NEO is somewhat building up a track record and giving these investors this confidence where it wasn't there before. And they're also constantly coming out with positive news about their ever growing sales and deliveries each month and they're also coming out with new features for their vehicles and also new vehicles like the EC6 that was just released. And according to Scott Redler, who is a chief strategist of T3 Trading Group, he agrees with this analyst and thinks that NEO is just gaining a bunch of strength before they surge upwards. And if you look at this chart that Scott Redler provided, he thinks that they're building resistance around 2260. And if they're able to break through that resistance, it's possible that NEO could go all the way up to $25. And so if they broke that resistance, that would happen in a pretty short amount of time that they would go up to $25. It's just a matter of time before they do break through that. And it's just kind of a waiting game to see when they're able to do so. And then another thing is that this professional day trader put out a tweet saying that he was scanning some option flows and there was 19,000 NEO October 9th expiring $23 calls bought today. It doesn't say when he tweeted this, but those would be expiring today. And at the time of recording this, NEO isn't at that $23 mark, but he said, am I nuts or is someone expecting a huge move? So maybe there was something that I missed or that a bunch of people didn't see coming, but apparently a lot of people thought NEO was going to go over $23 today. And it still is possible at this point in time because the market's still open for a couple hours at the time of recording this. So I guess we'll have to wait and see what happens. So I don't know whether NEO will hit $23 by the end of the day, or when they will hit that $23 or possibly $25 mark. But with all this good news recently, like their record setting deliveries and delivering 12,000 vehicles in one quarter, from the looks of these numbers, it looks like NEO should only continue going up. And then looking at their market cap, NEO ranks 11th among all automakers. And on the way to the 10th place is legendary Ford, which as you know, they have over a century of history, but it looks like NEO is trying to take over all these top spots. But I think NEO has such an advantage over other companies because they have these vastly improving technologies like their Navigate on Pilot that they're constantly working on. They're also in China, which is the biggest market there is. And then considering that they could possibly expand across the globe, NEO could be the top automaker within the next 10 years or so. I think it's very possible. Obviously, we're going to see more automakers popping up here and there, and they still have to compete with Tesla. But I'm just saying it's possible that they could become one of the top contenders for that top spot. And if you guys didn't know, there was some other good news that came out where NEO announced NEO Day and that's going to take place on January 9th of 2021. So that's in just a couple months. And it's possible that NEO could actually introduce a new sedan that they've been working on. And the model name actually appeared in NEO's spring patents. So that could be huge news going into the new year. So definitely something to watch out for with the potential of NEO releasing a new vehicle. We should really see that in their share price, especially once more people get news of this NEO day and the potential for them releasing a new vehicle. So it doesn't quite look like NEO is going to hit that $23 mark like people were predicting. I suppose it's still possible because there's still one hour left of trading at the time of recording this, but I don't think NEO is quite going to get to the $23 mark. I think they'll even stay below $22 at least through the end of the day. But I think NEO has a lot of potential going forward, especially through the end of the year. I think it's just a matter of time before they break through that $22 resistance. And then from there, they should just go up pretty smoothly, I would think, up to $23, $24, or $25. So I know I've been covering NEO a lot lately, but would you guys want to see any other EV companies covered, maybe like Xpeng or Li Auto or possibly Tesla? I've been asking people what kind of videos they want to see, but nobody's really leaving suggestions or the suggestions are all over the place and nobody really seems to agree on what companies they want me to cover. So for now, I'm just asking if you guys want me to cover other EV companies like Li Auto or Xpeng and maybe Tesla if you guys want me to. And then going forward, I'll do some of the other companies that you guys have commented on and maybe then we can get some variety going forward on different companies that I can cover. 
So let me know which companies you guys would prefer down in the comments. Also, if you guys haven't signed up for Webull, the promotion is actually ending on October 15th. So if you haven't signed up, use the link in the description and you'll get two free stocks when you sign up and deposit $100. They're both worth a minimum of $8. So you're getting a guarantee of $16 and potentially up to $1,600. So make sure you guys sign up before this promotion ends. Also, if you guys enjoyed the video, I would really appreciate it if you hit the like button because it really does help out the channel. And with that said, thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you back here in the next one. Bye.